Yes, most of you have asked me a lot of questions regarding to how to change sponsorship from one sponsor to another. Yes, I've had a lot of queries of questions and I've answered a lot of questions regarding from how the process starts, how do you need to do, what do you need to have, what are the requirements. And there's a lot of questions that are still being asked regarding to what you call sponsorship change. When you look at something we call sponsorship change, it's not as very smooth as someone tend to think. Most of you think it's just a matter of time of placing in your application data and everything will just be done at this level or done at this level. By the way, if it is your first time to come across this channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me that like. Don't forget to share because it will only be the way that I'll be motivated and I'll make more content. Instead of it, I want to, to share with you how definitely can you skip what you call the notice period. Yes, it's quite very important. Remember something that I did, uh, something that definitely I told you that when you look at the notice period itself, normally the law has its own notice period, which you must give your employer in case you are resigning. But after approval of the ministry, depending on how long you've worked with that company, the ministry will also give its notice period. And remember, when we look at the notice period that is given by the Ministry of Labor, it is that notice period that you are supposed to serve with what you call your employer. Yes, let us look at the ways. How can you really skip the notice period? Yes, there are a couple of things or there are a couple of ways you need to follow for you to skip the notice period. Remember, not all of us want to stay so long on work in case we've applied for change of new career development or new opportunity. We always want to move fast. But there's a way you're supposed to follow with what you call the requirements according to the labor law. But there are also other options that for you you can use to, what, to skip what you call the notice period. One, yes, most of us who've resigned, resigning from one company, you want to join another company. Yes, during the process of re-resigning, you ask your employer if he's willing to sign what you call resignation letter, he will sign your resignation letter, he will give it to, give you a no objection to change. But however, you need what you call an additional attachment. That can be what you call an agreement that is being signed between you and your employer. That agreement should be written on a separate sheet of paper that gets to bind of you that no one or you do not need what you call a notice period to serve to what you call your employer. Yes, when you go to the Ministry of uh, Labor application, there is where you need to, to tick. Either you need to serve what you call notice period to your employer, or you do not need to serve the notice period. In that case, if you have that document, you will tick, no, I do not need to serve, to, to serve the notice period, and you will uh, you'll give what you call the attached document, which should be the agreement that you sign between both of you to see that there is no need of serving what you call the notice period. In another situation, where you can skip what you call the notice period is whereby there is what you call bleach in the contract that you sign between yourself, between you and your employer. In case your employer violated what you call the terms of uh, the contracts that you signed with him, at that time, yes, you have right of not what you call, serving what you call the notes period. However, something that definitely you should understand that you should, as you're feeling on the website, or as you're feeling on the Ministry of Labor website, for you not to serve the notes period, you should give what you call an evidence, or you should give, give evidence that certifies that there was a violation of your contract and you do not see need to serve what you call your employer, what you call the not period. So when you are filling those forms, those, those attachments should be clearly put in that and that is just going to help you, it's the, going to be the only way that you'll be able to what to do to skip what you call the not period. So most of the times we look at this as something minor things but definitely they add a little value and they do definitely give a lot when it comes to what you call the process of labor change or the process of changing from one career or from one job to another. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Yes, thank you so much. Always, by the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, don't hesitate. Put a subscribe button, share and comment in the comment section. I'll always be very grateful and very happy to get to you. By the way, don't forget this Max uh, on Max Creation TV. See you again in another video.